So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a prelude to the Taylor series. So I want to give a little bit of background uh, before before actually proving the uh, Taylor polynomials or Taylor series. Okay, that we'll get to later. Okay, so let's suppose uh, that we want to uh, approximate a function using polynomials. So in this case, let's consider uh, as our function. Let's consider uh, uh, e to the x. Okay. So we want to okay, want to approximate e to the x with, and let's assume that we're working with first degree polynomial. So with a first degree polynomial of the form a0 plus a1x. So here a1 is the slope, a0 is the y-intercept. Okay. So obviously this, I mean just intuitively, this is not going to be a good approximation, but it's a place, it's a point that where we can start. Okay. We can start with an idea and then expand it from here. Okay. So the so the requirement, okay, so if we can get, okay, so if we can somehow make sure that at least the polynomial at, let's say, at x equals zero is going to have the same value with the function at, at zero. Okay, so that's a good starting point. And then the next thing we can do is we can look at the first derivative and require the first derivative at, at the same point to be equal to the, to the uh, derivative of f at the same point. So the point that I'm going to consider here is zero. Okay, so we're going to expand okay so this is so zero is what we call an expansion point okay so we're going to f expand around zero okay Okay, so we want, okay, so first condition, we want P of the polynomial at zero to be equal to the function value at zero, okay? The second condition, okay, is that we want the derivative of P of our polynomial at zero to be equal to the function, the derivative of the function at zero. Okay. So this will give us basically two equations, and then from those, from using these two equations, we can solve for a zero and a one. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and calculate um, the uh, first derivative of p. So that, I'll do that over here. So taking the derivative of our polynomial. We have a zero is constant, so that's going to leave us with a one. Okay. So from the first equation, okay, we have that we evaluate the polynomial at zero. Okay, so that's going to give us a zero equals to f of zero. So so e of zero is just one. Okay. The next one we have is the derivative evaluate zero. Okay, so that's just going to give us a one. Since, since that's just the derivative of p is just a constant function. And this is going to be equal to, or we want this to be equal to the derivative of f at 0. So that will be 1. Okay. So a0 is 1 and, and a, a1 is 1. So, our, so based on this, okay, the polynomial, okay, polynomial, first degree is x plus 1 okay okay so if you look at the figure down towards the right here uh, in in the red you see right in red is the exponential function and the blue the blue line is represents x plus 1 okay all right so this is the best we can do in terms of approximation for using a one one degree polynomial okay so it turns out that this is nothing more than the tangent line 
at the cur at, at zero okay so this is just another way of of arriving at that result okay however we can do better okay so if we do better we need more information so let's include the second derivative okay as a third condition okay so all right so let's let's say we want to come up with a second degree polynomial okay so we want to find a second degree polynomial okay let's call that p2x equals to uh, a0 okay I'll go down here since I'm running out of room so let's say p2 so we're going to have a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared okay alright so again up here we started with a first degree okay, this is a first degree polynomial Okay, now we're going, we want a second degree polynomial. All right, so the first two conditions, we want P of two, okay? We want the second degree polynomial at zero to be equal to the function at zero, okay? And the same with these, with the first degree, with the first degree derivative at zero. We want that to be equal to the derivative of f at zero. Okay, so the new condition, okay, we want the second, all right, the second, the second order derivative at zero to be equal to the function, the second order derivative of f at zero. So we want those two to be equal. All right. Okay, so let's figure this out. So we need. Okay, so we need the uh, we need the second derivative of p. So let's do that here. So taking the second derivative, okay. So all right. So first we need we need the first derivative, right? So that's going to give us a a one plus two a two x, okay. And then the third, I'm sorry, the, the second degree, okay, the second, second order derivative will be 2a2, okay. All right, so now let's start with condition one. So we have the polynomial value at zero Okay, so the original one at zero is going to be, so going back up here, so that's going to be a zero. Okay, so a zero is going to be equal to the function at zero. So the function we were approximating is e to the x. So e to the zero, that's going to be one. Okay, so just, I'll just go ahead and write that out. So that's e to the zero, which is going to be one. The second one, second condition, we have, let's see, we have P2 at zero. So this first derivative of P2. So P2 of zero is going to be, looking here, that's going to give us A1. And we want that to be equal to the first derivative of F. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we get e to the x and then evaluate 0. So that's going to give us 1. Okay. All right, third condition. Okay, so this is the new condition. So we have the second, second order derivative of p. So at 0, so that's just going to give us 2a2. And that's going to be equal to e0. So the second derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So from here, okay, we get a2 equals to 1 half. Okay. 
So therefore, okay, our polynomial, okay, our second degree polynomial, so it's going to be, okay, so we had up here, right, so we found a0, a1, and a2, okay, so therefore, okay, we have p2 is going to be equal to 1 plus x plus 1 half x squared. Okay, so that is our second degree polynomial approximation for e to the x. Okay, so so first we had okay, so the the first degree polynomial was x plus one. Okay, which is what you see here in the graph. Okay, that's the blue line, and then this second degree polynomial is the one that you see in the green here. Okay, so if you look around the origin. Okay, when x is 0, you can see that the second degree polynomial gets a lot closer than the first degree. Okay, so that's giving us better, you know, that's giving us more information. Okay, it's a better approximation. Okay, so we can continue this process. Okay, we can get a better and better approximation as we introduce uh, the successive derivatives. Okay, so we can do a third degree polynomial. Okay, we can do a fourth degree, fifth degree, and so on. Okay, so then the idea is, okay, we, so basically this is giving us, uh, you can kind of see it's going to give us a series. Okay, so the question is, is this series going to converge? Okay, all right, and that's, a, that's another topic that we'll talk about later. Okay, but it seems rather intuitive uh, that, that the, the more information or the higher der the higher the derivative that we're using the better the approximation okay so from a geometric standpoint uh, this is what seems to be happening okay so the next video I'm actually we're going to use this idea to prove uh, to, to come up with the or to prove the formula for a Taylor uh, for a Taylor polynomial approximation